Hey, so I'm going to introduce you to Scaleboarder. It's a um, system to make user onboarding super easy, especially for games. Uh, purpose-built for the Scale network now, um, and you can see more at scale.space. Um, however, it will work um, on any chain, and it would be appropriate for any sort of cheap chain where um, it doesn't cost, you know, 10 bucks to, to, to do a transaction. I'm going to show you the quick uh, what we're building towards right now. My first time visiting a site, first time connecting. I'm going to connect my wallet, <clears throat> choose MetaMask. Up's going to pop a little message. This is only happens the first time I'm on this browser. I'm basically like um, kind of like adding a device when you use your bank. Um, I authorize this device, sign. Uh, now you'll notice that this address matches the signer I did. But what we've already done in the background is deploy a Gnosis safe, create an ephemeral wallet in the browser. And now we can actually send transactions. And look, I didn't actually have to sign anything for my MetaMask. Um, this transaction was relayed uh, through my Gnosis safe that was already deployed. Um, and the code for all of this is super simple. You just wrap Rainbow Kit or wrap Wagby, um, and you don't have to think about it after you do that. All right, so here I am going to show you how to use the Scale Border ecosystem. Um, it's a collection of basically just a couple packages, mostly the meat here and safe tools, um, and then some some. Uh, some helpers for Rainbow Kit um, if you're using it, or just Wagney if you just want to go up to the Wagney level. Um, and then Safe Deployer is a deterministic deployer. Um, a create two deployer um, specifically designed for scale, so it does less gas golfing and stuff like that. Um, okay, so. I have two demo projects in here, demo contracts, demo site, and I'll just give you a quick walkthrough so we can see um, what the outcome is. The contracts are super simple. Here I am in contracts. Gonna open that up in VS Code. Um, you'll see that there's this is a standard hard hat uh, repo. There is simply one contract in here. All it does is either emit an echo event or increment a counter. That's so I can show you uh, contract rights using the system. Uh, you can see in the hardhat config, one, it uses hardhat deploy, um, and that adds this external and deterministic deploy sections. So these are kind of important. Um, the, they link up so that this repo will also deploy the safe tools contracts and the Gnosis safe contracts. All right. And then it uses a deploy contract or deploy, sorry, script. Um, saved in the safe tools npm package <clears throat> now you'll see that i have kind of this two uh, two levels up link here um, in your repo after installing it you'll probably just have a, just the the local node modules um, this is because we're in a learn a mono repo here but this is documented in this file <clears throat> so and then deterministic deploy you can kind of just copy paste here um, it's nothing special it's just um, uh, deploys that create to deployer instead of using the the hard hat deploy standard create to deployer and that's it when we go to run this locally we'll see that we can bring up um, it'll deploy all the various contracts that are needed um, I have a little helper here heart um, npm run addresses. Um, all I'm doing there is making sure that we get this dash export here to save the addresses. Um, and that's only useful um, uh, for when we go into the to the front end package. Okay, so that's it. Now I have a blockchain running and it's got all the correct contracts set up um, for scale border. Okay, so let's go over here. Um, we'll go back one. I'll do LS here. I'm gonna. I have a little picture here that you probably can't see, so I'm gonna move this up. Um, now I'm gonna go to the demo site. Now demo site is again a standard Next JS uh, repo. Come down here to package. You can see that it's got Chakra installed, but um, but nothing else except for this scale border rainbow kit is our special sauce. Okay, and I'm also using. Rainbow Kit, um, which comes with Wagme as well. Okay, <clears throat> so all of the magic setup happens here in App. Okay, so um, I've used a create chain wrapper, which creates a Wagme chain, um, and 
and just simplifies some of the stuff that it's some there's some boilerplate in that that you don't need and this just lets you specify just the things things you need so right now we're going to do a local dev chain this is my 31337 chain i'm going to call it local roam uh you can see that the the rpc urls are um, all localhost here but it works equally well on my mainnet database up here we're going to create a provider that just goes to the local dev one okay and down here we're going to set up the wrapper configs we provide our in the, our instance of ethers that's just to um just to help with version control um the provider i just created up above the chain id from the local dev chain now these addresses dot contracts is that file that i um i just created over here when i ran this npm run addresses which is just a deploy um setting up for addresses and because all of these are deterministic it didn't actually deploy it just wrote out that addresses dot json okay so now we're here. Um, so those are all the addresses that the config needs. And then a faucet. Now the reason why there's a faucet is because the way the system works is it will deploy a Gnosis safe for the user. The signing, so the user's main wallet, is an owner of that Gnosis safe. And we also create an in-browser ephemeral wallet um, that will send transactions to the safe as well, and that is also an owner of the safe. And that in-browser wallet needs um, gas, right? And so we need to provide a gas somehow. In this particular instance, I'm just going to use an API um, that is in here. It's just a it's just a simple local faucet. It just sends it one uh, you know one gas token in our production app at Empire Gambit. Um, you can see that at empiregambit.com. Uh, we use the say, we use the scale network proof of work algorithm um, and some controls to make sure we're not just shipping a bunch of gas. Um, and so basically, the browser does a little proof of work, submits a transaction, and it gets a, a small amount of scale. I think it's currently like 0 0.02 or something like that. Um, and uh, and also creates the wallet and all in that in that same transaction. So um, here we're just being simple. Um, this will really kind of depend on what chain and what app you're using. Um, if you're on a scale network, you probably want to use the same proof of work system we did, and maybe we can open source that too. Um, okay, so then we create a wrapper, this Rainbow Kit wallet wrapper. That's also just imported from the Scale Border Rainbow Kit, right? And so what we want to do is wrap all the Rainbow Kit wallets. Um, and so uh, here what we've done is take the boilerplate that we usually see for Rainbow Kit. So, um, and we've chosen these wallets. Um, and all we do is we map the wallet and we wrap the wallet here. So we've taken, all the, we've taken the wallets from Rainbow Kit and we're wrapping them with this wallet wrapper. And what that does is it in those Rainbow Kit wallets, there's basically a function um, that says get signer, and the wrapper just wraps that around to return the scale border wallet as opposed to um, just the one that comes directly from the signer. So the wrapper basically handles all of that, create Gnosis safe, set up the um, uh, set up the ownerships um, and call the faucet that we defined above um, to make sure it's funded um, and then base and then give you back the um, the, the wallet that uh, <clears throat> uh, that wag me and therefore rainbow kit expects so and then you could just use it um, uh, so you can use uh, uh, a normal contract reads work just as before uh, and then the writing also, um, you know, you can, we can see here we're just using the, the normal WAGME. Um, and when you write to the contract, it'll, it'll still work, right? And it's going through the, um, the Gnosis safe as opposed to the user. And I'll show you exactly. It's cool, too, because the user doesn't actually have to sign the transaction. Um, you can also, if you need to, it's pretty easy to go from, um, 
from the user's signing address to their safe because remember the safe is what's going to hold all their all their assets or anything you send to it like the all the message sender and stuff is going to be the gnosis safe not the main sender right and that means that we can interact with the whole chain that way um uh but protected too because um everything is siloed through that gnosis safe that identity that they're creating for the game okay so and I'll give you a quick demo of this um, and show you how easy it is to get it set up. So first, we're going to have to to run it. So over here to the demo site. I'm going to move my picture back up here. Run dev, normal um, Next.js command. We'll come back to the browser. And we can see the demo site. We're going to click. This is the first time you know I'm coming, so I'm going to click Connect Wallet. It's going to choose which wallet I want to do. I'll say MetaMask. And up here will pop MetaMask. And you see, I authorize this device to send transactions on my behalf. Now, this is the, my sort of main signer account. And this is the ephemeral in browser one. And this is just the block that it was issued at. So I can click Sign. And now we'll see that we're connected. Um, and the the Wagney and Rainbow Kit will still show my main signer address. Even, so we're kind of obscuring the safe one, right? So when we hit increment here, we'll see a transaction came through, and that there is a, um, a you know the counter actually implemented. Um, when I come back, I'm already going to be signed in. So I'll connect wallet, and we can see that I'm already connected there. I didn't have to to sign that transaction again. All right, so there we are. That's the sort of super quick demo. Um, obviously, you can do a lot more and uh, sort of plan around having that safe in the middle. Um, but this is a super way, a good way of doing onboarding.